Nordahl Industries, a worldwide leader in retail, plans to monitor browser performance in their web-based applications. They have asked Dave from CA Technologies to explain and demonstrate how the browser agent is implemented and used. Thanks for having me here today. I think the best place to begin is with the browser agent overview. The browser agent lets you monitor web page load performance metrics. This includes metric calculations for web pages, metric calculations for AJAX requests, single page applications, and soft page navigation. I think it's also important to understand the process flow of browser agent. CAAPM monitors end user business services and transactions. The browser agent posts the collected end user monitoring data to Digital Experience Collector. CA Digital Experience Collector is a data collector for the end user monitoring. The collector consumes data from the browser agent and sends the data to Kafka using JSON. The metric data from the browser agent is filtered and verified according to the configured browser agent profiles. The browser agent core files are BA.js and BAEXT.js. Logstash is a data processing pipeline that pulls data from Kafka, transforms the data, and sends to CAAPM. The CAAPM output plugin transforms the data from JSON format to APM metrics using JSON to APM transformer. The APM agent is the core agent that sends the transformed APM metric data to CAAPM. Now that you understand the process flow, let's discuss some of the browser agent properties that are used for monitoring and metric collection. Here are just a few of the properties that are used. Created is the date and time when the profile was created. Last updated is the date and time when the profile was last updated. Browser agent enabled, this property toggles the browser agent monitoring. Page load metrics enabled, toggles the capture of page load metrics. Page load metrics threshold creates the metric for page events that are greater than the threshold defined. Ajax metrics enabled, toggles the capture of Ajax metrics. JS function metrics enabled, toggles the capture of JavaScript function metrics. JS errors enabled, creates the metrics for JavaScript function events that are greater than the threshold defined. For more information on these browser agent properties, browser metrics, and more, visit CA's DocOps page. Now I will demonstrate browser agent in action. We first look at the DXE configuration properties in the DXE.properties file. There are four main properties set here. The DXE server port, we are using default port 8080 in this implementation, Kafka server and port. Kafka is installed on the same server and is using the default port 9092. Zookeeper server and port. Zookeeper is installed on the same server and using the default port 2181. Since this deployment is for APM only, so the final property set is APM only deployment equals true. This value is set to true in APM only in APM AXA implementations. The value is set to false for AXA only implementations. Now we will look at the log stash configuration. Here we tell Logstash where to find the agent.properties file. We configure the agent manager, enterprise manager, to send the browser agent metrics to. We are sending the metrics to APM R10 using the default port 5001. There are other properties which can be configured, but we will not discuss them in this demonstration. Looking under the browser agent, WA, BA folder, we see the default and profile folders. The default folder contains the default copies of the BA.js and BAEXT.js script files, which collect the browser metrics. I will discuss this later. Under the profile folder, we see the default tenant folder, which contains the app folders. We have two applications in the default application folder. The Tix app folder contains a configuration for our TixChange web application. Since we are using the default script files, we only have the profile JSON file which is used for configuring the browser agent attributes. Notice in addition to the configurable attributes we configure the collector URL. The tenant ID and app ID refer to the folder structure we just saw. In the JSON file we can choose to enable the other metrics such as AJAX, JS errors, geo, browser logging. We can also edit the threshold values to adjust for very fast or slow apps. In this deployment we are using the defaults. In the default folder are the two default JavaScripts. Let's look at the contents. The JavaScript files will be shown in formatted view for ease of reading. Now 
This is the browser agent extension JavaScript, used to write custom functions to collect specific metrics for your application. This is the browser agent JavaScript. I will show the insertion of these files and the metrics they capture later in this demonstration. Anytime there are changes to the folder structure or files, run the following command to push the profiles to the digital experience collector. We will configure the browser agent from the CAAPM command center. By clicking on the packages icon, we will see the packages configured for our environment. To view the configuration, we will edit the ticks change package. Notice there is one agent created from this package. By clicking on the select bundles, we can add the browser agent bundle to the TixChange Java agent package. Notice the browser agent bundle has already been included in the TixChange package. Clicking on the configure bundles allows us to configure each of the bundles in this package. Clicking on the browser agent bundle allows us to configure the browser agent bundle. The first configuration of interest is the auto injection enabled which is set to true. This tells the agent to automatically inject the browser agent snippet file to each browser page. I will show you how to manually insert the snippet into the web page. Here is the snippet file which includes the BA snippet. I will edit the web page to show you where to manually insert the snippet. We insert the snippet in the header section of the web page. Notice this example includes both the browser agent JavaScript and the browser agent extension JavaScript. The tenant ID is the default tenant and the app ID is TixApp, as discussed earlier. We will cancel and not save the browser agent since we are using the auto injection in this implementation. This is where we set the auto injection enabled to true. The app ID TixChange is used to attempt to get the snippet location and the included URL's regex property. First, we will look at the included URL's regex. We configure this so we can specify which URLs we want the browser agent to collect metrics from. Our configuration is such that we only collect metrics from all web pages within jtixchange underscore web slash shop. The slash at the end of the path tells the agent to collect anything after shop. Here we enter the location and name of the snippet file to inject to the web page. Here we configure the turn on the browser agent response cookie used for business transaction matching support. We will see the results of this later in the demonstration. We also configured the matching criteria for the browser agent response cookie. In this implementation, we want to capture all transactions. Since we have not made any changes to the package, we will cancel the edit session. Using Internet Explorer, we have logged into TixChange and navigated to the shop landing page. From the browser's tool debugger, we can see where browser agent snippet was injected into the web page. We can see both the browser agent snippet and the browser agent extension snippet are in the snippet file we looked at earlier. In the network response body, we see the JSON format of the metrics returned to DXE. Here is the response body expanded in JSON format so we can read it. We see the app ID, tenant ID, URL, stat and end times, business service, and transaction information. We are logged into APM Team Center looking at the experience view. Clicking on the services in APM R10 components tile allows us to see the business services in our implementation. Here we see the TixChange business service tile. Clicking on the TixChange business service tile takes us to all of the TixChange business services. We are interested in the shop landing page via IE, as this is what we were looking at previously in the demonstration. 
We will open the Analysis Notebook to look at the details of the shop landing page via IE. In the Analysis Notebook, we see a small map of the business services, component view, basic and custom attributes, and the blame point metrics. I will scroll down so you can see the browser agent metrics. Here is the start of the browser agent metrics. Here we see the average page stall time. I will scroll down so you can see the other metrics. These will be shown in detail in world view later in the demonstration. Here we can see there are JavaScript errors. From world view, in the same time period, we will look at the shop landing page via IE in more detail. Under the Logstash APM plugin, which was named in the Agent Properties file on the DXE server, we see the Business Segment. If you do not have Business Segments defined in Customer Experience Manager, you will not see Business Segments and Business Transaction, but will see Browser Pages by URL. In the summary of Browser Pages by Business Transactions, we will concentrate on the Shop Landing Page via IE. Here we see the number of page loads, Time to First Byte, Time to Last Byte, Page Stall, Page Render, DOM Processing Time, JavaScript errors, and page hits. Look at this transaction in more detail. We will navigate to the shop landing page via IE by clicking on the icon. We can see in graphical view the browser timings, page hit per interval, JavaScript error per interval. If our browser pages had AJAX calls, they would be shown at the bottom. Clicking on the error tab will allow us to look at the JavaScript errors. We can see the error message says there is a missing parentheses on the JavaScript. We can tell the browser type and version, error message, line number, and page where the error occurred. The web developers will be notified of this so they can resolve the error. I'm sure you now understand how to configure browser agent and view metrics. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, subscribe to the CA YouTube channels and playlists, and visit us at ca.com.